What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Uh, today, we got a brand new soft top for the Miata. Now I know what y'all thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you bro, here. <laughs> here, take this. I'm gonna hit you. Don't put your finger in front of the camera, bro. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I know what y'all thinking. Why are you out here getting soft tops when the transmission's broken? Well, funny story is, I fixed the transmission about 1,100 miles ago. And I had everything recorded, ready to make a nice video. And then it was all gone. All the footage was gone. Uh, so, I edited, ed, ed, edited, I edited all the footage, and I tried uploading it, and then it failed. And so I was like, all right, cool, whatever, I'll do it again. And then all I get is a message like, these files no longer exist. And I was like, what you mean they no longer exist? I go to uh, all my videos where I keep all the footage and everything. They weren't there. They were just gone. And so that video no longer exists. So you guys will never see it. But yes, we did get it working. We got it all working actually the first try too. There was no like check and make sure there's no leak. There's none of that. It literally just all went together. But, I did buy a new top. It's another plastic window, which I'm okay with. I don't care. I don't need it to be all nice and have a glass window because that's expensive. So I just got a black top. I actually did sprawl out and I got a rain rail included because I heard they could be a pain in the butt to install. Um, what is this? Here's a strap and instructions, which you're gonna read. Because unlike every other auto guy, I feel like instructions are important and useful. And we got these little foam things, which I believe are when you put screws and rivets and everything in, or screws in the bolts, uh, it doesn't vibrate and it's quiet. So I'll just take that. Let's see if I can figure out what the strap is for real quick. This top is just, so much nicer than what's on the car, obviously, but like, still, it's just, it's amazing. Oh, these are multiple, like, Velcro straps. There's two. Let's see. All right, so we try to make sense of what the hell these instructions are talking about, and we have no idea. So we just gonna take a 10 millimeter, which everything is freaking greasy, because my starter started falling out. Funny story, yeah, my starter fell out pretty much on the freeway. Um, and while working in there, it was all grimy and gross. And now all my tools are covered in like... We show them a clip of it. We were shaking it. Yeah, I'll probably put the clip in there. Um... Ha -da 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 -da. Yeah, I showed her. I was like, yo, so you know that sound my car is making? Here, well, here, here's what the sound was. It was my fluffing starter falling out. You know what, this is... <laughs> yeah, it, it fell off on <laughs> fucking freeway to Glendale. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck did I grab? What size did I grab? I got a fucking... What is it, 10? Yeah, I got an 18. Because I, I forget the number on top does not go to the bottom. It goes like that. This is a 10 mil. Alrighty. Yeah, don't take this as an installation, like, tutorial on how to install a soft top. Because I got no idea what the hell I'm doing. All I know is I got a bunch of free nuts and bolts, because these people tried to, like, use nuts and bolts to keep the fucking window on. This is really hard to do while holding the camera. The camera, the phone. Mm, 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 mm. Let me, let me get them, them nice shots, boy, of hand action. All right, you know what? You know what? I'll get back to y'all in a second. Cause this is, mm. <laughs> All right, I'll get back to y'all in a second. Yo, 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 this dude flying, bro. Uh, okay. oh. Alright, so we got most of the top undone. 
there's tons of screws everywhere but now what we're running into is there's rivets that hold the top on too and we don't have a drill and even if we did we don't have a drill bit this small so what i'm trying to do is go more the old school route and shear the head of these aluminum rivets off with a flat head and a hammer and wow that worked really easily well that's in the top now <laughs> that fell down a tiny hole but yeah no i just sheared the head off the rivet right now that's why they use aluminum rivets and that's why i bought a rivet gun today made specifically for aluminum rivets but the dingle nuts who bought it used steel rivets and was trying to rivet floorboards back together and stuff which is a no-no Rivet. Garbage. Alright, it's just gonna fall out. So, so far, we're doing pretty good. This is something obviously me and him have never attempted. But, oh, too, they drive crazy as hell. <laughs> um, this is something we've never attempted. But so is the transmission install. And we got that pretty good. If you ask me, installing a transmission, I feel like may just be a little bit harder than replacing a soft top. Just my thought. You can get over here. Let's get on. Let's let's, let's show them some of this uh, rivet smashing action here. So you take your screwdriver, line it right up with the top of your rivet, and you just. It's best once you break that little bit off, you tuck right up under that rivet and you can just start busting it away. Eventually, you'll end up shearing the whole entire head of the rivet off. And if you're like me, it'll fall down this little hole and you'll have to get it out later. But once you do all of that, um, you can eventually just smash the front of the rivet and it'll start to pop out. And then the little piece that's riveted on will slip off and then you can run it through the top. Man, this top is difficult to work with. Once you, here, grab the handle and lift it. Unfold it. Once you, uh, once you get the rivet pretty much sheared halfway, what you could do is sometimes you can end up getting enough tension off of it that you can actually just spin the rivet around. Me, I can't seem to get that much tension off the rivet unless it's folded up. But when it's folded up, I can't really get to the rivet. I could just see it kind of free spinning there. There we go. Right at a little weak point, right? There, get the corner on it. There you go. Cool. The whole rivet head is sheared off. You can take your little corner right here, press that out. Boom, boom. There's the rivet. Careful, even though it's aluminum, which is pretty weak, um, that's still sharp enough to hurt you, poke you, cut you, and do some damage. So just be really careful. Mind that. And then you just slip. It's literally just this little like plastic wire thing. And there's a big square head on. You just slip it through that hole. And I'm scratching up the top. You can pull it through. Here's some pieces of rivet. Pull it through, there you go. So now what we have to do is take this metal which is folded over the top, you unfold it and you can peel the top off. Like that, this piece of metal. You just gotta unfold it. So I said I had no idea what I was doing earlier, but it's pretty simple to get the old top off because it's stretchier and it'll work with you. The new top on the other hand, which is brand new obviously, um, it's not gonna wanna stretch and flex and work with you, so that one, you're gonna have to manhandle it to get it off. And for those of you guys who are gonna comment about my shoes, saying I got like suburban white dad shoes on, um, <laughs> screw you, cause I'm tired of working in my freaking Nikes and getting them all dirty, my Converse and stuff. 
so I'm gonna keep destroying these shoes that are already pretty much destroyed. Obviously you don't want to like mess up this metal too much if you plan on reusing it. I believe it comes with a, uh, a different method to call it. It's like they give you little straps. Oh, there's that. And there's just one more. And I actually don't know. All right, so this big loop back here is just velcro. I like how that part looks all brand new. Yeah, just one little loop right here is brand new because no one's ever touched it. All right. Why don't they just Velcro the whole thing, honestly? True. It's some strong Velcro, dude. Out. Oh, and then it's metal twisted. Alright, ow, that hurts my fingers. <laughs> I was trying to be a big strong boy, but it hurts my fingers. This probably isn't the right tool for the job. I feel like a flathead may be a little bit better, probably when mar up the metal as bad but this metal is kind of made to be bent but still don't like bend the heck out of it like super bad because then you'll actually end up probably ripping the metal and messing it up and then you can't use it and you got to find alternative methods and you know ulterior methods can be good but there's a lot of people who say oem or no em all right and there you go, that's the entire skeleton. We can probably do this in about a minute. Removed. No, don't say that, because we're going to have to stretch a new one on. And honestly, that was easy. This is just about as heavy as the fabric. They're both probably like 14 pounds. Yep, you got your soft top attaches to you. And then, you, once you're done with that, is this what I think it is? This looks like a car key. Obviously, it's not the key to my car, though, because I don't think I even have my... Yeah. Got scared See, for you, a second. <laughs> when you explore stuff, here is a clone of my key that snapped. What if that was used for the trunk? Yo, you know what? They probably do use this for the trunk. Oh, yeah, that's my new trunk key. Oh yeah, my car is turbocharged actually. Uh, we had to uninstall this to get the top out because uh, it, was, it was it was installed in the back, so super stealth setup. So nobody knows that you have Mustang chopping power back here. Yeah. So keep an eye out for turbos when you're when you're uninstalling your old top top. Good. And then what's done? Okay. This dirty, ripped up, filthy piece of garbage that's no longer even black. You walk over to your nearest trash can and you dispose of it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll start to figure out how to install this new one, which I did get one that came with a rain rail. Make sure you buy a rain rail if it doesn't come with one. Uh, we'll start figuring out how to install this and stretch it on, and we'll see you guys in just a minute. What is up, YouTube? Um, it's been, ooh, I'd like to say about a week since the top has been reinstalled. Uh, not reinstalled, but the new top has been put on. And uh, I have to finish some small stuff that I just kind of forgot to do originally. But in that week, ooh, this lighting's way better. Um, in that week span, the Miata broke again. Um, this time the radiator has a huge hole in it and I had to get a new one right now and I really didn't have the money for it. I had to borrow money from my girlfriend just because I didn't get paid. 
Uh, I'm like a couple days away from getting paid. So, and obviously I need my car now. Let's see if I can. Okay, anyway, so there's dust flying everywhere. It's a cool little effect now. Um, so anyways, uh, I borrowed some money from my girlfriend and I bought the radiator. So this is gonna be a double install video because I had already removed the old radiator. Then uh, I was waiting for somebody to come home so they can give me a ride to O'Reilly's and I can get the new one. And nobody came here, I'd been, I'd been sitting for like an hour and a half, so I was like, whatever. I put the old one back in, which will hold water, literally just long enough to go because O'Reilly's is literally, like I walk down my street and I can look and I will see the complex O'Reilly's is in. So it lasted long enough for me to get there. Um, but after that, I, I just got home. I'm about to put on some music, rip out the old radiator, put on the new one put in the new one, um, and all the hoses look good too. I think they were recently replaced before I got the car. Uh, reattach everything, which it takes like two seconds. Finish up the small stuff on the top I didn't do. And then hopefully I could try my best to get some like more glamor shots of the car, or at least just some pictures and stuff like close-ups. Um, so you guys can see the whole install. And I should also flip my phone around because my camera is down here at the bottom and I want it up here at the top. Also, I got a different phone. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's a slightly older phone. Slightly. It's actually like two years older. But it um, it's not broken. It works. And it doesn't turn off at 70% when I use the camera. And I have to keep it plugged in like I did with the clutch install. So anyways, I'll see you guys in just a minute. And I'll probably also put in the... Uh, the little clip of how bad the leak was like it's really bad there's already zero water in it and i literally poured the water in like 15 seconds ago literally like it's it's been like 10 minutes since the water's poured in there and it's already all gone um as soon as y'all put that clip in right now and i will also see you guys in just a second hey everybody uh it's the next day after the radiator install. Uh, I couldn't finish the, the recording of it because I needed to get it done. I had to go pick up my girlfriend from work. But, uh, oh yeah, I probably have my keys on me. But I did end up going to a car meet last night and I didn't get any footage of it because I showed up kind of at the very end of it. And I just wanted to go see my friend's car mostly. It had been a while since I had seen his and he had gotten a brand new hard top for his car for 600 bucks. He like, he stole it, honestly. It was such a good deal. But um, he gave me a little something that I've been needing that I'm sure you guys have noticed I haven't had. And that's an air filter. So I'm gonna install this. It looks like it's almost the exact same one that was on my car. And as you can see, I just got off of work. But uh, we didn't have a hose clamp and I forgot to bring this. This is the base to my old air filter. I'm gonna take this hose clamp off and I'm just gonna install it on the car. And then that will pretty much finish up the, the little build process of the Miata right now until I could save up a bit more money and buy the next part. I just got done driving, so this is probably gonna be pretty hot and I should wait but if I don't do it now I'm probably gonna end up forgetting a couple of times and not actually getting it done so right now I'm gonna need my 5 sixteenths and I think that's it so the new radiator um, I didn't install a fan on it I didn't have time but it's completely fine without it so I'll see you guys in a second. Give me one moment. All right, so I got my little filter installed. Uh, so I hear filters can actually make your car sound uh, drastically different. So I'm gonna see if it makes any different sounds or noises. I tried uh, seeing if I could switch the bass that's on it with this one, uh, just cause that one fit a little better. But it, there's no way that I could see in the filter off without bending it, so. I just kind of used the clamp and I tightened it down like really, really tight. Uh, and then I also kind of adjusted the angle of everything and just try to get the filter off of the intake manifold. 
the heat shield. I don't think there is a way without having the stock air box because I believe it bolts up to this stand and that little bolt hole right there and it kind of holds everything out the way, but it's fine. And then the last thing I need to finish is this little flap I forgot to screw in which stops stuff from being able to come through. Also, yes, there is zip ties up there. Uh, this little flap right here, that's the last thing I gotta do. Uh, and then the top is completely installed 100%. And then, uh, let's see. And then um, I could save up and move on to the next part and slowly get this car where I want it to be. And I want it to be not a piece of junk. Okay. So right off the bat, I'm not hearing anything different really. I didn't think it would make much of a difference. Yeah, it doesn't really make much of a difference. I didn't really think it would. Just because the change mostly comes from when you go from a stock air box to a pod filter like that. Ugh. So yeah, I didn't really think anything was gonna change much. So I'm not really disappointed. <sighs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna get this flap screwed down and then test my abilities and see if I can get some pretty nice shots of the car and see if I can edit those. Uh, I definitely need to challenge myself more to make higher quality videos and I really need you guys to push me to do it because if you guys don't tell me I suck, how am I supposed to know I need to get better? But yeah, that was an install of a brand new top radiator and an air filter you didn't really see an install of that i just put it on right here at the end uh this video is gonna have a lot more footage than i really thought it was so i'm actually gonna have to sit down take some time editing it and make sure i do it all correctly but first you already know just like i said yesterday best thing i can ever tell you is when you're done with the tool put it 